In this video, we're going to learn how to classify an angle based on its measure. So there are four basic ways to classify an angle. An angle can be a straight angle. It can be a right angle. It can be an acute angle or it could be an obtuse angle. So let's go through all four types. So the first type, a straight angle, is an angle that is actually just a straight line. So it's all the way around like this, and a straight angle is always 180 degrees. A right angle is half the measure of a straight angle, and I know that you've probably seen this before, but it makes a corner of a square and a right angle is always 90 degrees. An important thing to know with right angles is that perpendicular lines create right angles. So these two rays, in this case, are perpendicular to each other. So if a problem mentions the word perpendicular, you have to realize that that means it's a 90 degree right angle wherever those two lines meet. Now the next type of angle is an acute angle, and this could be anything that is between 0 and 90 degrees. So an acute angle is greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle is not acute. An obtuse angle is the other option, it's an angle that's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So this would be one example of an obtuse angle. It's clearly bigger than 90 degrees, but it's less than 180 degrees. And those are the four main classifications that you should know. You might wonder, well, what about an angle that's greater than 180 degrees? So let's draw one of those and think about that for a moment. If you had an angle, or if you start out with one ray and then draw more than 180 degrees, it has to be bigger than a straight line. So going, say, all the way to over here. What you should notice when we've done this is that we actually created a second angle right here. And that would be the one that you'd tend to focus on. So that's why there's primarily just classifications for angles less than or equal to 180 degrees. All right, at this point, why don't you check out the second video, which will go through some specific examples to help you practice classifying angles.